नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल दी व्यूवर्स एंड लर्नर्स इन दिस लाइव इंटरेक्शन ऑफ सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दस लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल चैनल नंबर टेन एंड इन दिस स्पेसिफिक सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू नो मोर अबाउट डिवेलपमेंट एंड दिस सेशन इज फॉर टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सोशल साइंस स्टूडेंट्स हम क्या पढ़ने वाले हैं यह हमने आपको बताया डिवेलपमेंट यानी कि विकास पर हम बात करेंगे विकास क्या होता है और कितने स्तर का होता है यह आपको बताया जाएगा और जो विकास मेरे लिए विकास है क्या वो आपके लिए भी विकास है इस पर भी हम जानकारी लेंगे हमारे साथ जुड़ चुके हैं हमारी एक्सपर्ट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डी लेट्स क्विकली मीट है आप हैं मिस अपर्णा रुया मैम आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है वेरी वॉम वेलकम थैंक यू सो मच एंड डियर लर्नर्स एंड व्यूवर्स लेट मी टेल यू अ ब्रीफ अबाउट मैम आप पी जी टी इकोनॉमिक्स हैं रामजी स्कूल आनंद पर्वत नई दिल्ली से कोई भी सवाल आपके मन में आ रहा हो तो आप अपने सभी क्वेरीज अपने सभी प्रश्न हम तक पहुंचा सकते हैं फोन कॉल के माध्यम से आप हमें कॉल करेंगे हमारे टेलीफोन नंबर पर जो है डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन या फिर आप हमें ईमेल भी कर सकते हैं हमारा ईमेल एड्रेस है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेंथ एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन इन माध्यमों से हम आप हम तक पहुंचा सकते हैं अपनी सभी क्वेरीज एंड इफ यू वांट टू नो मोर अबाउट डेवलपमेंट इनकी थ्योरीज के बारे में जानना चाहते हैं एग्जांपल्स जानना चाहते हैं तो आप बेझिझक हमसे जुड़ सकते हैं अपना फीडबैक भी आप हम तक पहुंचा सकते हैं हमारे ईमेल के माध्यम से तो हम सीधे चलते हैं अपनी एक्सपर्ट के पास अपर्णा मैम हम आपके पास आएंगे यहाँ पर और हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे डिवेलपमेंट की जब हम बात करते हैं इट्स वेरी नेसेसरी एंड बाई टाइम ये बहुत इवॉल्व भी हुआ है कई चीज़ें जो हमारे आस हम देखते हैं लेकिन हम एक्सैक्टली आपसे जानना चाहें आएंगे एट द वेरी बिगनिंग ऑफ दिस सेशन कि आज के हम इस सेशन में क्या कुछ स्पेसिफिक पढ़ने वाले हैं इस चैप्टर में मैम गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल सी डेवलपमेंट ओवर द इयर्स इन द बिगनिंग व्हेन सिविलाइजेशन एंड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन स्टार्टेड एवरी कंट्री वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ हाउ टू डेवलप सो द कांसेप्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट हैज बीन इवॉल्विंग ओवर टाइम बिकमिंग मोर इंक्लूसिव एंड Uh, the three things which are very interesting about development is a for everybody development is different uh, the okay. aspect of development is what for me what is development may hmm. not be development for you hmm. then uh, sometimes when we think of development the goals are conflicting what uh, you know is development for say industrialist may not be a development for environmentalist hmm. okay. and the third interesting aspect of development is that it is a mix of goals so if i'm mm-hmm. thinking of my development mm-hmm. i will think about many many things you know i'm right. other than for example if i'm looking for a job mm-hmm. so three things which we must start the chapter with is that a it is mix of goals mm-hmm. b sometimes it is conflicting and okay. c what is development for me may not be development for you so it means that in this particular concept there is a difference between uh, my particular development yes. and for economy and for other sectors yes okay fine yes. now तो ये तो बात हुई डेवलपमेंट की हम बात कर रहे हैं और जैसा आपको बताया हमारे एक्सपर्ट ने कि थोड़ा इसमें भेद है आपके लिए जो डेवलपमेंट है वो हो सकता है किसी और के लिए ना हो इसके बारे में हम और डिटेल में इन्फॉर्मेशन लेने वाले हैं मैम से तो मैम और क्या कुछ आप बताने वाले हैं येस सी द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट आई गिव इन यू वॉज दैट इन अ फैमिली यू नो अ बॉय एंड अ गर्ल बोथ आर यू नो लिविंग इन द सेम फैमिली बट फॉर हिम द डेवलपमेंट मे बी गोइंग आउट ऑफ द होम Hmm. and for me he would expect me to cook in the house right. so there is a conflict hmm. what he thinks is development for him hmm. maybe i find it as it's not being given the same liberty to me right and hmm. similarly if we talk about the countries we'll find that if an industrialist want to have a factory in a hilly hmm. terrain he may need a huge dam hmm. now huge dam means thousands of tribals and the people who were living in that area they will be uprooted now this is a psychological economical lot of impacts are there you must hmm. have done you st- studied sardar saro dam so hmm. the point is that you know there is again a conflict and the third that is why we uh, a mix of goal mean if i'm looking for a income hmm. if job my uh understanding of my progress of development will be that i want a higher income i want psychological satisfaction i want uh, security so these are the three examples whereby i as we started that it is a mix of goal they are mm. conflicting mm. and what is development f- for me may not be development for you right so ma'am we are talking about that concept of development has been evolved over time yes so is it so 
Yes. Hmm. See, how has it developed? Now, hmm. we just take it, what is individual development and what is a national development? Hmm. Now, a country or a government cannot progress if it is getting indulged into conflicting and, you know, uh, mixed things. Though it has to be very clear. So, hmm. when, we call, we, when we talk about national development, the goals that the government start with is, the objective that the government has behind every policy is, can the life of the people be better off? How should we live together? How can a nation ensure more equality? So, security, equality and uh, the empathy between the people, the, the national development means thinking about these questions. Hmm. So, when it comes to the national development, hmm. which we development in, the, in a way means national development only, hmm. then the goals are far wider, more hmm. deeper and very comprehensive, hmm. where the welfare aspect is at the root of every hmm. goal that we envisage in a planning. Hmm. So, there are so many parameters, right? Yes. If yes. you talk about national uh, development. Yes. So, ma'am, why do we need of uh, development uh, incorporate all these things parameters, ma'am? See, now, now the question is when we started uh, our independence and where we are today, hmm. there is uh, uh, how do we compare different countries? We hmm. compare different countries classically. Okay. We used to compare it if the country is having higher income, then that is a rich country and if a country is not having that much higher income, then it is a poor country. Now, this is based on the understanding that more income means more of all the things that human being need. So, classically, if you go back say 60, 70 years, income was the sole criteria of development, hmm. right. So, hmm. we divided the country as developed and underdeveloped and developing. Hmm. So, that was the basic criteria with which we started long hmm. back. Hmm. That was the beginning of how we used to classify countries solely on the basis of income hmm. as developed and underdeveloped. Okay. Shall we continue with hmm. the presentation? But, yeah. but the limitation of the income as a sole criteria is that every country has different population. Hmm. Now, you cannot say country X is better than Y because hmm. it has more income. Hmm. So, we over time what happened, we then thought it is better if we take per capita income instead of total income. Hmm. Now, the slide shows that there is country A, which is having a total income of 100 hmm. and the population is 20. Hmm. Now, what is the formula? Very simple formula. You find that average. You say total income divided by total population, hmm. right? So, if you divide 100 by 20, on an average, every person is getting 5 rupees in country A. Hmm. Now, you come to country B. The total income is 200. Apparently, it seems double than A. So, right. the country is far more richer. But the population of that country happens to be 100. So, if you divide total income which is 200 by population which is 100, the average income comes out to be 2. Hmm. So, we thought it is better to have per capita income as a criteria of development as compared to uh, total income because the population of each and every country is different. So, per capita apparently seems to be better as compared to uh, but the problem in per capita income is, look at this very interesting table. There are two countries A and B. If you total, there are five people. If you total 9500, 10500, 9800, 10000 and 10200, okay. the total comes out to be 50000 in case of both the countries. But an average income comes out to be 1000, 10000 sorry. Now, if you look at the table clearly, Country B is having very unequal level of income. Hmm. I mean, four of them are getting only four, 500 hmm. and the fifth one is getting 48,000. Hmm. It means income is not properly distributed. Right. So, in case of country A, you can see on an average, everybody is having near about the same hmm. uh, income of 10,000. Hmm. It means what? That there was some problem in per capita income also. Now, what the problem is per in per capita is that it does not show you the distribution aspect. How is the income distributed? Hmm. So, the first phase that we talked about was the income phase. We said there is, you know, uh, a limitation because it does not take population. Hmm. Then we took per capita. We thought this is better because, you know, it is dividing and finding average. But as the table had already shown, it also has a limitation. It does not tell you how the income is distributed. Okay. So, income and the other criteria. So, ma'am, jahan pe jaise hum baat kar rahe और हम काफी चीजें आपसे जान रहे हैं आ, हमने जाना कि विकास क्या है डेवलपमेंट क्या है और इसके तो कुछ पैरामीटर्स पे भी हम बात कर रहे हैं ये पर कैपिटल इनकम भी हमने उसी पैरामीटर्स में लिया तो जब हम सभी कंट्रीज की हम ये जब डेवलपमेंट देखते हैं आपने देखा कि किस तरह से उसे डिवाइड किया जा रहा है तो और भी कई पैरामीटर्स होंगे इसमें बताने के लिए राइट यस 
Okay. Yes. So, we now further proceed. Hmm. Initially, we started with income. We said this is not done because population is not included. Hmm. Then we found a better win. We said per capita income. We said this is also not so good a criteria because hmm. the distribution aspect is missing. Hmm. The third criteria which now comes is the table is showing you that there are three states that are there in the chapter and the one happens to be Haryana, Kerala and Bihar. Now, what had happened, uh, this is the first table which is showing only the per capita income of Haryana, Kerala and, Beto and Bihar and you can see Haryana stands out at the top followed by Kerala and Bihar. So, per capita income is taken as an indicator of development than Haryana. If I take only the per capita income, you can easily see Haryana is better than uh, Kerala and Bihar. Now, we took other criteria to assess what is the real picture and we, we included now infant mortality rate, literacy rate and net attendance ratio. Now, I will tell you something very interesting. If, if you look at the table carefully, infant mortality is lowest in Kerala. Though Kerala had a lesser per capita income, hmm. but if you look at the second other indicators that I have taken IMR which is a health indicator, I have taken literacy and net attendance which is an education indicator. So, what are we doing now? We are expanding the base of assessment of development by hmm. taking education and health as a critical parameters of development. Hmm. Now, the table clearly shows that Kerala stands out to be the best in terms of health and education indicator. Hmm. Now, there is something very interesting which I want to tell you. The last column says net attendance ratio. Hmm. Earlier, it used to be net enrollment ratio. Okay. Now, enrollment does not ensure attendance, right? Hmm. Suppose 100 students are enrolled hmm. and only 50 are present. Right. So, we modified it further. We hmm. made it net attendance ratio, okay. which is out of 50, how many students are attending the class, hmm. actually coming actually, to the school. Okay. Hmm. So, we this is how we are modifying the uh, indicators of development and you can clearly see that Kerala if I take in totality all four parameters hmm. comes out to be better as come in health and education indicators as compared to uh, Haryana. Haryana. So, this hmm. is how we, ex we, we are expanding. Hmm. Then the question arises what why how come Kerala is doing so good in uh, you, you look at this table only 7 children die out of 1000 mm. during one year and 94 percent people are going to the uh, they are literate and the life expectancy is highest net attendance ratio which is 83. 83. Then the question that comes in the mind is how come Kerala is doing better than uh, Haryana. Now, here in the role of government comes, mm. how is that average person in Haryana has more income than in Kerala, but lags behind in crucial areas of IMR literacy. Now, the reason is no matter how much money I have, I cannot have uh, you know buy all the goods and services that I need to live a quality life. I am hmm. saying a quality life, hmm. which means I need to have a pollution free environment, hmm. I need to have unadulterated medicine, I need to have protection from infectious disease and I best and cheapest way is to provide these goods and services collectively. So, when we include health and education, we found Kerala is better and we, we then came to the, we, we concluded that unless the public facilities are better, hmm. the state will suffer on account of other parameters which are equally important as income parameter. Hmm. So, this is where in the role of the government comes into and you must have noticed you know how the government of India during the COVID time distributed hmm. the ration, hmm. free vaccination, you know right. the public toilets and Mr. Modi and the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Hmm. Now, these are housing complexes that it is providing to the poor people. Hmm. This is where the role of the government comes into. Hmm. This is where the community and the role of the government they join hands hmm. and progress towards better hmm. indicators of development. And that is how development this is how we are emerging, you know, yes. the definition is in evolving over time. Right. So, ma'am, we have just discussed about a lot of parameters, right. If we talk about human uh, development index, is it a better uh, indicator of development, ma'am? Yes. And then now, how? Yes. How is the way we compared, hmm. uh, the way we compared the Indian states, hmm. say Kerala and Haryana and we concluded that it is very important for a country to progress income. I am hmm. not saying income is not uh, uh, important, hmm. it is important but it is not sufficient. Right. So, we concluded that uh, unless the government provides collective services, hmm. you know whereby the quality I am saying hmm. of the life of the people increases, 
Similarly, at the international level, we have an index called Human Development Index, hmm. which ranks a country hmm. according to, you know, this is the, if you look at the table, hmm. it is gross national income, which is purchasing power parity. Hmm. All the country's income is converted into dollars, because hmm. unless you compare, you, you cannot compare hmm. if the parity is not established. Right. Then we come to the life expectancy, mean years of schooling of people aged 25 and ranking. Hmm. If you look at this table carefully, hmm. it, if, if the national income is, gross national income is concerned, India is on the second rank. Hmm. But and Sri Lanka is way down. You know, Bangladesh hmm. is, Sri Lanka is better hmm. and Nepal and Bangladesh is far below than what we are. Hmm. But if you look at the other indicators, life expectancy in India is 69.7 and in countries like Nepal and Bangladesh, it is 70.8 in 72.6. Now, this is where I can say that the ranking of India has gone down hmm. from it is now ranking of Nepal and Bangladesh is better than that of India, which is 130, Nepal is 143 and Bangladesh is 134. Oh. So, the way we compared the states of India and mm. said that the role of the community is important, government is important. Similarly, at international level, mm. gone are those days where the income used to be the criteria. Mm. Now, it is very comprehensive, very wide, you know, and this is just three parameters. There are at least six, many, many parameters. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an example that in 10th class I have taken. But there are many parameters, you know, which uh, which is which are getting included now. Latest, there are liberty indicators that we are okay. including, like uh, right to vote, you know, in the right. in the right to speech, hmm. you can express here. So indicators are continuously increasing, and it is becoming very inclusive and extremely comprehensive to calculate ranking. Okay. Yeah. So there are so many parameters while uh, they uh, take uh, the the national human development index. So, ma'am, here we just wanted to know about the role of government, ma'am. You yeah. want to uh, tell us more about human uh, development index? Yes, yes. Okay. See, it, it is what is happening is it is evolving over time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, what what was the uh, concept of the, see, there is a, mm. uh, they, for earlier we had a concept of development, right? Mm. Now, we have prefixed human into it, mm. which means what? That mm. unless the quality of the people at large improves, hmm. right? Unless the common objective behind all the strategies and the planning that we, uh, you know, work so hard for, hmm. the root is, is the life of the people getting better? Hmm. Are the masses having a longer longevity of life in terms of better life expectancy? Hmm. Or are the people going to the school? Do they have the basic health facilities? Hmm. These are now emphasizing that human need to be the central point of all the development exactly. that the government exactly. goes. And if you look around around the world, we have seen there are lot of change in the criteria now. And हम देखते हैं अपने आसपास पाते हैं कि काफी कुछ change हो गई हैं, काफी चीजें हैं जो बदल रही हैं, और हम उसमें काफी चीजें evolve भी कर रहे हैं. और आपको हम बता रहे हैं development के बारे में. Until now we have discussed about lot of features. और डेवलपमेंट के आप को मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि आपको ये सत्र और ये सेशन अच्छे से समझ में आ रहा है। इफ यू वांट टू नो मोर अबाउट डेवलपमेंट, इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक, यू कैन रीच आउट टू अस थ्रू आर वेरियस मीडियम्स। वी वुड लाइक यू टू कॉल अस through our telephone number that is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. Either you can drop a mail as well. Our email address is dth dot class ten at the rate cit dot nic dot in. So, ma'am, you were talking about some parameters, right? So, shall we continue, ma'am? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now, I'll tell you something very interesting. Hmm. So, we started with income. Then hmm. we said there is a limitation because hmm. it doesn't take population. Hmm. Then we came to per capita income. We hmm. said it's very good finding an average. Hmm. But we said it doesn't tell us the distribution. Hmm. Then we came to the human development. We said hmm. any development which doesn't cater to the well-being, hmm. inverted commas, the quality, okay. it sh cannot be taken as a development. I mean, hmm. I may be very rich, but I don't hmm. have uh, a good air to breathe, you hmm. know, so I can't take. So, we, we, we had taken other parameters of life expectancy, hmm. means schooling year, etc. Hmm. Now, the latest concept which is emerging, hmm. the way we included human hmm. as development, hmm. there is another aspect of development hmm. and we have prefixed a word called sustainable development. Now, what is sustainable development? Hmm. Whatever standard of living I have today, can I have it in time to come for my future generation? Hmm. Well, because you see development is happening because hmm. the resources are, you know, we are using the resources. Hmm. Now, if I use the resource hmm. thoughtlessly, hmm. 
then I will not be able to sustain the present level of development, right? Hmm. right? So, for it to be sustainable or getting better, like hmm. I have given you two very interesting example in my slides. Hmm. See, the first example that I have given you hmm. in my slide is, now resource are there, there are hmm. two type of resource, 10th hmm. class students knows it, hmm. renewable and non-renewable. Hmm. The very good point about renewable resources that the nature replenishes it, very hmm. simple. But the point is, if you overuse them, Hmm. then the nature will not be able to refill it in hmm. a very simple language. Hmm. If the extraction is more than you know you replenish it by uh, nature, then you will have a loss of uh, resource hmm. even if it is renewable. renewable right. So, even uh, renewable resources have a limitation. Hmm. They can help you in the development only as far as hmm. the extraction is less than the, uh, uh, the, the amount by which hmm. it is replenished. Hmm. Whereas, look at this cartoon, now this is a ground water, hmm. it is going down hmm. and the he is not able to pump the water, you know, hmm. because the level of the water has gone down. Right. Now, had it been ex extracted within limits, hmm. the water would have come. Hmm. The point is that overuse means whatever the rain could, you know, hmm. replenish, that hmm. point is gone, you have extracted beyond that point hmm. and now you are facing crisis. Right. So, which is our thought that renewable resources are unlimited they can be hmm. taken for granted right. that has to be you know uh, 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 you know we, we have to work upon it hmm. Re non renewable you know there is always a exhausted they get exhausted after hmm. the use have a fixed stock which cannot be replenished hmm. and that is why you see coal and petrol i can give you thousand examples you hmm. know why are we switching on to the blue buses in delhi you know hmm. which are you know electric, electric vehicles hmm. because you know now this is this is what the countries are doing hmm. they are are exploring new resources so that you know they, they they have less dependency on resources which are subject to a limited hmm. time period so when we talk about sustainable hmm. we talk that our standard of living in say 50 year down the lane hmm. either should be same or it should be better right. and for the development to be sustainable hmm. it is quite obvious that resources have to be valued for hmm. whether they are renewable or renewable hmm. that is very important to think. So, do not take non-renewable resources because you know you just have to think about your generation. Hmm. You have to think 50 years down the lane. Exactly. Similarly, uh, renewable also has a limit if you overuse them you will not be able to you know get the best get out it, of right. them. Yes. Right. So, uh, pe hume sochne ki hai because we are talking about sustainable development, it is not a new concept these days, we can say, because we are talking time se sustainable development ki baat kar rahe hai, and because our coming generation also deserve to use all the resources that we are using in these times. So, we have to use resources for them, so we need to use sensibly. Karna aana so, ma'am, what else you want to share with all our viewers? See, I will give you an example of hmm. our life. Hmm. When I was small, we never used to have a water uh, motor in our house. Hmm. We used the water through hmm. municipal taps used to come hmm. and there was hardly any provision of tanks and all. Hmm. Today, every house has a motor, right? right? There is a hmm. water filter also, we never hmm. had it in our life, hmm. right? So, these are the added costs, we call them hmm. added because hmm. these are called added costs because they could have been avoided hmm. had we been more conscious hmm. about them. Hmm. Now, water has become such an economy good nowadays. Hmm. Once upon a time, it used to be so fresh and clean. Right. So, with our, by our own mistakes and hmm. thought, you know, because we are thoughtlessly using the resources, hmm. we are adding cost to it, whether it is repair of ozone layer, hmm. whether it is afforestation, whether hmm. it is cleaning of uh, rivers, you know. Mm -hmm. So, these are all the added costs. Hmm. We should avoid these added costs and we should always think beyond, you know, today, hmm. after 30 years, what I, what my children are going to inherit hmm. from me, that is my moral responsibility, I should look upon it. Right. So, ma'am, can we discuss some global issues right yes. now? Yes. Hmm. See, what happens is hmm. that today, because of whatever we have done in the past, hmm. Willingly or unwillingly, we got to cooperate now hmm. because it is a global issue. Hmm. If the air is getting polluted, it, hmm. it does not confine to borders of India and right. Nepal, you know, hmm. it gets, it goes everywhere. everywhere. If the rivers are not uh, clean, it is going to, you know, affect everybody. Hmm. So, whether it is air pollution, water pollution, any kind of pollution, deforestation, you know, the, there is a hole in the ozone layer hmm. and these are the, you know, costs that we are paying at large. Hmm. So, the point which is very important is hmm. that there is, there has to be a consensus, hmm. there has to be a coordination and cooperation. Hmm to think seriously about how can we ensure the future generation mm. to have a better standard of living than what we have today, so that we can move towards the path of 
sustainable development inverted commas hmm. so how have we proceeded these years hmm. we started with income hmm. we started with per capita income then we started with human development index hmm. where we made the human hmm. as the central person who hmm. should be catered to via including health and education parameters hmm. and we made it more inclusive so hmm. we we included humans their welfare being at the central point and then we moved on to the environment because then we thought environment is also very important you know for we cannot have a sustainable development if we are not conscious about what amount of damage we have done to the environment right so we are you know nowadays there is a concept of green gdp hmm. this which is the latest concept that a, a particular hmm. deduction is you know done uh, if you are polluting uh, hmm. what cost are you pay you know hmm. uh, environment is damaged that particular aspect is also taken into account hmm. so we have a concept of green gdp and you know uh, green Uh, everybody is getting conscious about how to protect the environment so the concept of uh, development is evolving hmm. you know in in time to come i think we'll be more conscious about hmm. how to use the resources you know and how hmm. to make life better for uh, we have also inherited you see hmm. uh, uh, whatever we have today we have inherited and we should make it a point to hmm. give the best that we can to our future generation surely ma'am and ma'am it's uh, it was a wonderful talk here i would like to know what uh, key points that you want to share with all our viewers and students ma'am okay so as a student i always tell my students you know hmm. that whatever don't wait for the government to act right. you should take your own so initiative what they can do huh, at, at, that at, age, at their level please switch off the lights when you go for the sports period right. you know hmm. so uh, see that if the hmm. taps are on you know there should not the water should not be wasted hmm. and you should always segregate the you know uh, waste at hmm. your home so this is how by little little things you know at our level hmm. instead of waiting for the government to do something hmm. you know at our level we can contribute for the we can heal the environment hmm. by these very small things you know right. like i have so seen in my classes students hmm. just go the hmm. fans and lights are on for hours together hmm. So these are very little things, but I'm sure at their level, this is all they can do. Hmm. Throw the garbage in the dustbins, you know, exactly. not to litter it around. So these are very small things that I tell them hmm. that at your level, you have ample enough power to uh, bring the, you know, environment back to where it was. I'm quite sure, ma'am, all those little steps could bring a very, very positive definitely, change. Definitely, definitely. So, dear learners and viewers, because you are in tenth standard right now, you are future of our nation. तो आप ये छोटे-छोटे प्रयास करेंगे तो देखिए कितना अच्छा positive change आपको अपने आसपास मिलेगा. And you should uh, do all those things together. And it's time for me to wrap up this session. But उससे पहले हम अपने expert अपर्णा माम आपको बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद करना चाहेंगे. Thank you so very much for being with us. and for this valuable uh, interaction or i am quite sure hamare sabhi viewers ko hamara aaj ka is satra bahut pasand aayega hum baat kar rahe the development ki aur it's a wonderful concept aur is concept ko aapko aur acche se samajhne ki zarurat hai to aap zarur abhi iske liye apni samajh badhaye aur abhi filhal mujhe renu bhat ko de anumati lekin aap yuhi hamare sath bane rahe ek chote se break pe ja rahe hain break ke baad apne ek aur live interaction ke sath hazir honge abhi filhal main le leti hu aap se anumati namaskar